am a data scientist. I have 20 years experience in the field of data science. It's how I earn my living, it's how I feed my family, it's how I pay my way in the world. So, <laughs> I don't say it lightly when I tell you that you probably shouldn't hire me. Now, I really want to tell you why you shouldn't hire me, but before I do, I have to tell you a really important story. So, my wife and I once stayed in a beautiful family-run hotel in Adair County, Limerick. We brought our two boys with us. Um, Jack was seven, Aaron was six. By the time we got to the hotel, it was late in the evening, nine o'clock in the evening. We were cold, we were tired, we were hungry, the boys were agitated, so much so. That one was rolling on the floor, that one was crying, and myself and my wife stood there despondently in the foyer thinking, how are we going to get that and that into that hotel restaurant? So with that, the hotel receptionist is making her way over to us. Now I thought, she's going to tell us to keep it down, isn't she? But no. She said, Mrs. James, maybe I'd be able to help. Now, you see the way she was able to figure out who the chief decision maker in the family was. Um, Mrs. James, maybe I could help. Perhaps the boys would like some breakfast cereal, um, toast and yogurt. Wow. Then she looked at the two boys and she said, now lads, why don't you go up to your room and put your pyjamas on and I'll bring the food up. It's room 220, right? I was flabbergasted, absolutely floored. This is an example of a small business providing exactly the right product at exactly the right time to exactly the right customer. So, let's think about big business. As a customer, your data is being collected and analyzed by virtually every business that you deal with. They do this so that they can offer you a better service. They can reward you for your loyalty so that they can perhaps even predict when you might move to a competitor. So your electricity company, for instance, knows exactly when you leave for work in the morning and exactly when you get home in the evening because they can analyze your electricity usage. Your bank knows how much you earn. They know what day of the week you get paid. Your bank, by looking at your credit card, can tell where you've been on holidays for the last five years. The supermarket can sense exactly how you're feeling because they've seen you buy nappies and wine and Red Bull. <laughs> and yet, despite big businesses having all of this data about us, knowing, uh, you know, so much more about us than small businesses do, they're unable to provide that incredible customer experience that we see in small businesses all of the time. They're trying to replicate exactly the type of experience that I got in a small hotel in Adair County Limerick. So, I think that small business have missed something. There's something that they haven't realized. They haven't realized that data science is a tool. It's, it's a means to an end. It's not an end in and of itself. Data science simply provides the music. Big business needs to learn how to dance. So as a data scientist, I can look at the situation in, in a hotel in Adair and I can say, yes, I see a family group of four people. I know their ages. I know that they're customers of this hotel. I know what time it is in the evening. I know what room they're staying in. I know what children like to eat. But I can't walk up to the, as a data scientist, I don't do the walking up to the customer and delivering that exceptional experience. So why is it then that your electricity company doesn't send you a text message to remind you that you left the immersion on. Your bank doesn't send you a friendly email reminding you that all your direct debits are due out on a Friday and you have no money in your account. 
Why don't they offer to cover it for me? They have the data to do it. Why is it the supermarket, knowing quite well that I do my shopping on a Saturday afternoon, why is it they don't send me an email with the discount vouchers that morning? They have data to do it. So let's think about what big businesses or small business do that big businesses don't. Small businesses engage with our customers constantly. They are talking to their customers, they're listening to their customers, they're observing their customers, whether it's online, offline, whether the customer's browsing in the shop or whether they're standing in the line, they are constantly talking to their customers. And big business don't seem to be able to do this. What big businesses have done is they've replaced customer service for automation. They've removed that moment when they can actually talk to a customer. Small businesses personalize. Now, personalization can be just as simple as using a person's name. My own mother used to call the local radio station and have a request made for herself because she loved hearing her own name on the radio. <laughs> we love hearing our own names. And the next time a big business writes to me and says, dear valued customer, I'm ditching them. Small businesses reward their customers. And small businesses know, you know Big businesses, they have loyalty programs and they reward their customers too. In fact, I've got six pieces of plastic on my key ring to tell me how loyal I am to various supermarkets. Small businesses realize that real reward can be as simple as a warm handshake, a friendly smile, and a really sincere and genuine thank you. Small businesses are humble. Small businesses have realized that a pat on the back is just six inches from a kick in the ass. They, they haven't decided, the minute you start deciding that your product is the best and your customer service is the best and I'm unbeatable and I'm cheaper than him and I'm better than him, that's when you start losing humility. So let's get back to the reason why you shouldn't hire me. Small businesses. Don't hire me, you don't need me. You're doing data science in your head. You're delivering exceptional customer experience and exceptional customer service every day of the week. Big businesses, if you are not absolutely committed to customer service, don't hire me. You're wasting my time and your money. Thank you.